What is up guys? This is George with Vegas Mouse Friday. Today we are here at Valencian Gold for some paella. If you've never had paella before, you gonna learn today. This is one of the hottest restaurants in Las Vegas right now with an awesome concept. So let's check it out. So Valencian Gold is essentially like a Chipotle style of ordering your food that's fast, casual. You come here to the window and then you order your different types of paella that you want. So yeah, you basically pick your paella base, then your protein, then you go with your greens, your dips, and then some more toppings, and then, yeah, then the dressing. So you can either get your own, uh, completely customizable, or you can get some predetermined ones that they already have there. Everything we do here comes from something that we learned or lived in Spain. So like, paella is a very big deal. Mm -hmm. So that mural, that, that little thing over there is supposed to say about how he was the older lady and the granddaughter and teaching the, the generations about paella. We broke down the traditional way of making paella and identified the steps where we can make a couple of arrangements, so to speak. They're made in the traditional manner that we learned in Valencia. The paella is the thing that we focus on. And so you'll see when we build little bowls, the rice is in the center and we don't cover it up. We're loud and proud, it's, it's what we do. It's the thing that really prompted everything that we do. Look, look at all this, look at all this food we got. Amazing. So as you heard, we're getting some paella, we're getting some of the best food here. Um, so we are getting started with the traditional, the Valencian uh, plate with grilled chicken, the magnificent rice right here. We've got some aioli, garlic parts, and some lemon, squeezing some lemon in there. That's it over here. The El Greco with the lamb, pickled red onions on there. You do have your paella as well. Some beautiful arugula, guindia, some cucumbers as well, feta cheese. Feta cheese with the, with the peppers. Oh, and that's just that looks amazing. Flavors. We got our all vegan paella right here. Like a lot of other toppings here. We got couscous, we got onions. Candy have... beets, striped beets, we got a citrus salad on the side of that. Pickled onions that they do in-house every morning. The combinations that you can have with their vegan bowl, he did the math and he said it's somewhere like 150, around 150,000 yeah. different combinations that you can make with their vegan bowl. So, so you are never gonna get bored if you go vegan. You yeah. So of course we did the aguas frescas. This is the uh, non-alcoholic sangria. Oh, fire. So let's get started with this paella, the traditional chicken paella. A little bit of chicken and some rice. So nice, creamy. It's not like any other rice, it's just like, Something that they brought from Spain. This is the, the culture. This, this is uh, Valencia right here. This is just amazing. Squeezing the lemon in here. So the base right here, this paella, the, the rice, is a chicken paella. So the base itself is chicken. We have grilled chicken on the side. They cook it to order. Amazing, amazing. I'm telling you, this, the aioli with the paella. Get everything in there. Oh my God. So now I'm gonna try the triple fried potatoes here. Mm. It's their version of a french fry. And my God, super nice and crunchy. That's it, I had a couple bites earlier before off camera and I couldn't resist myself. Bro. The perfect crunch. Perfect crunch. The perfect crunch to that triple fried, wow. So these potatoes are called the patatas bravas. Definitely recommend it. You don't need to add anything. You know, they're already covered in some delicious aioli. They're so good. It kind of has a hint of some spice that, that Indian food has. Mm -hmm. That is so bad to eat all day. And this one here is the chickpea stew, chickpea and kale. The chickpea stew. Chickpea yeah, stew. Yeah. Also vegan, vegan, vegan friendly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is so good. He was saying that they eat this during the night when you can't eat meat, vegan friendly, and wow, the, the explosion of flavors to that. Good, I'm gonna try me some of that. These are croquetas. Perfect crunch to them on the outside. The texture is perfect. Even though you can just see on the inside. Yeah, look at it. Look, rolled by his hands. 
Yeah. Every day. Yeah, the whole process of doing these, put them in the fridge and pull them out, like he was just explaining to us. There's a lot of work that goes into these and they're jam-packed with flavor. I have okay. right here, off the menu item right here. Lamb, pickled onions, Lamb. cucumber, cucumber, the fennel, salad. The fennel the arugula, let's mix that all in there. Just about everything is gluten free. Those are my friends that, that can't eat gluten. A lot of these things here are vegan, uh, vegan friendly, uh, gluten free, soy free. Or just an endless amount of possibilities here that you can build your own or you can just do the ones that are off the menu like we did. The vegan bowl right here. See if I can get everything in there. A little bit of this. Some citrus, some beads. That looks beautiful. There's so many colors here, so many flavors. Commit it. Look at that. There we wow. go. You got this. You're vegan now, dude. You're I switching. Yeah, you're you're flavor. switching. Wow. Over. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Look at that. That's a good one, kind of. Dude, these onions. They stood out to me. Pickled onions, right? Those are in house. Yep. Yeah, uh, citrus salad with the beef and the cucumbers. The endless, endless amount of possibilities that you can get just from this bowl by itself. All right, guys. So we're working our way through the menu now. It's time to go for the dessert. This flan right here is notorious because it is so damn good. So let's put that to the test. I love flan too. So this should be a nice treat. We got some stretching. Whoa! I gotta process this. This is good. It is extremely creamy and perfectly sweet. My mom knows how to make a good flan. Don't tell her though, this blows hers out the water. Right, then we got the saffron rice here. It's uh, basically like the Spanish arroz con leche, which is one of your favorite ones, uh, right? Favorite. Yeah. The pistachios. Dude, that looks damn good. Wow. That saffron, the pistachios fit so well with it. I love the texture to this too. Spanish arroz con leche, this is up to par. Yeah. All right guys, so we are getting wrapped up here. We are so freaking full. 10 different plates. We're taking this one to go though, that vegan plate. You guys have to come check this place out. If you do, tell them Vegas must try sent you. Everything was super, super amazing. This is my second time with Spanish food. This was the first time. first time. It set up a really high bar for Spanish food. Uh, awesome concept, great people here. They have charging stations on their bars back there. They have a, a gumball machine in the back. Artwork here from Valencian artists. Like this place is top notch uh, really friendly staff and the owners uh, which are the chefs they're super super nice dudes super down to earth definitely come check this place out next time you're in Vegas or if you live here uh, definitely pay them a visit you're not gonna regret it so next time guys peace out